Yeah, man. Hello, my name is Miguel, and today I'm gonna make for you vegetable rundown or vegetable coconut stew. So you're gonna need about a dozen, about ten to a dozen okra, chocha, half of a chocha. Actually, I'm gonna use quarter, peel and and dice in chunks. A quarter pound of spring beans. Two. Oh, one large carrot, two, two medium sized carrots and one large carrot and a spring of thyme you're going to need half of an onion about three garlic cloves a stack of scallion a 50 gram pack of coconut powder to about two cups to two and a half cups of coconut milk water I'm gonna use corn. a tablespoon of parsley a tablespoon of dried basil a fermented berries half a teaspoon of fermented berries we're gonna need like half a teaspoon of dried rosemary and marjoram about a teaspoon of marjoram then you're gonna need some raw peanut about a quarter cup of raw peanut. scotch bunny pepper half you're gonna need some oil too as well. About three tablespoons of coconut oil. Alright. Now we're gonna prep. I'm just gonna use the same pot that we're gonna cook in. So take your spring beans. We're gonna cut the tips off. So get a food scissors, clean food scissors, and just cut the tips off. I just hold it together like this and then shuffle it flat and then cut it. Or you can put it on a cutting board and just cut it the right way. Alright, so that's it. I'm just gonna save back some, but I'm just gonna cook it all. So, all right. No, no. If you're using more vegetable, you can always add. You can always use more coconut milk. So just watch it. You want the coconut milk to be about about an inch over the vegetable when it when it's added. So that was. 200 kilograms that's nearly quarter pound the carrot now just kind of scrape the surface off clean Scrape it until you see all that dirty side off. Cut the tips and the head off. Time now, time steak, onion. Just kind of cut it in half, cut the onion in half, remove the brown leaf, outer layer, just the leaf, just that brown piece. Try and keep the, 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 the first layer because that's the strongest. Scally and remove the root see something biting we are living now they have something I call sun sunfly or something like that they are very fine you cannot see them you just feel things biting you and you can't see them so 
So when I'm in my placement, I keep it lock. Keep it lock. No mosquito or anything, because these days they have so much different disease with mosquito. You know, mosquito carry disease for a long time, but now they, they come into the Caribbean. They never used to be in the Caribbean. What's that, man? I don't see anything. Alright, that's quarter pound. It's about 190 kilograms. Alright, so now we're going to rinse. We're going to rinse these off. We're going to add the herbs while it's too. I just keep my clean, my area clean. Alright, now I'll just, I'm just going to rinse in front of you, but if, in front, if, if you have your sink, just over the sink or running water and just rinse this off, put, it, put some vinegar in the container and just wash them properly. I'm going to show you what I mean by wash properly, you got to make sure it's clean. Well that when it's only washing, just, just rinse those off. You can use white vinegar or you can use salt if you don't have access to white vinegar to add to the water. So you guys rub it with your hands. Make sure it's clean properly and wash it. Now just run it over water or warm water. Just why you gotta wash it properly. The vinegar is a is a cleaning agent, so it will it is gonna definitely get rid of the dirt. Alright, so wash the okra, the okras, properly, like that, now the spring bean now, just wash these very, very good, okay, you know sometimes they are on the street side and they are all over the place, so you gotta make sure it's clean. Alright, so remove this water now and then rinse it, we're gonna rinse this everything. Now that rinse them off with fresh water, rinse your prepared vegetables in with fresh water. So now we're gonna dice. So you take the onion and just slice it, or you can dice it. Like that, just be careful. Uh, Keep your finger out of the way now that I rinse this off. Take the scallion and just dice them fine. Not really fine, but just dice them for cooking. Keep your ingredients separate. Carrot, just cut it in about quarter inch thickness. Okra. Just remove the head and the tip or the head and the tail whatever way just remove both ends like that
Now the spring beans. Just kind of hold as many as you can. Shuffle them flat like you saw we did before. And just cut it right in the middle. Make one cut. Like that. So in other words, you'll cut them in about an inch or an inch and a half. Or cut them in half. Alright. Gotta get some more containers because gotta keep these separate. Let's put this spring bean in its own container. Now the okra. Dice okra in inch to inch and a half length. See if you organize yourself like this when it's ready to cook, you just gotta be ready to add the ingredients because this is a fast meal when it's time to start adding you got ready to add you can't stop and wait and wonder where else to add you got ready to add everything that's the specialty of rundown rundown is a jamaican thing you know and i'm gonna broaden it with some other rest of stuff i mean i know if people are do these in the country somewhere but i, I never heard of them so I'm taking credit. Alright, so you church it now, you just take it, cut it in half, and then peel it. I'm not gonna use that much, I'm just gonna use a quarter so quarter piece, cut out the hard piece and then dice it. Oh, I forgot the okra, the garlic, sorry, just take three garlics and strip them, strip off the leaf or the skin. And now crush them, mash them with your hand or anything, use a... You can use a cup, like a teacup, one of those big round teacup. You can use any kind of flat surface. I wouldn't recommend you put it in a bag though, because it's going to burst the bag and it's going to spill out. I tried it, so don't. If you use a bag, you fold the bag, but don't put it inside the bag. You like, fold the bag in half and then put it in between the bag. Alright, like this. Alright, now just put these aside for later. Alright, now coconut milk. You can use fresh coconut milk, but it's hard not to follow these convenience these days so. you all know I preach using fresh things but it's it's so hard to not it's so convenient just to take this pack and, and some of you know what they're doing good jobs with making these these days no because they're so new to the market they, they put it in the real stuff so when people start gravitating to it you now eventually they're gonna you know deteriorate in it so get it while it lasts so I'm, I'm using these packs these days I find this brand to be okay I'm not going to tell you what it is because I'm not advertising for nobody. Unless they pay me. Alright. So you just dissolve the coconut powder in water. This recipe calls for two and a half, two and a about two and a quarter cup of coconut milk. Between two to two and a quarter cups of coconut milk. 
just let it stay and remember now if you're using more vegetables you can always add more the coconut milk should be above about an inch above the vegetable when you put it in a pot scotch bunny pepper let's cut half this is hot Now, put to eat a frying pot that stews. Once it's dry, add oil. This is a little wet, so I'm just going to allow it to dry for, for, for a minute before I add oil. Put your stove's gauge on six. Medium high. See? I got burnt splash. Oil splash on me and burn me in one, two, three, three little spots. So it's good when you're cooking, just keep on a long sleeve. Alright, after a minute or so, add oil. Add about three tablespoons. You're not going to use that much oil. Just want to get it, want to saute the seasonings for a while. Just allow it to get hot for a minute or two. Alright, after a minute, stove gauge is on six, medium high, and to add onion, diced onion. Just allow it to saute for about 30 seconds to hmm, about 30 seconds. Allow it, let it stay, don't move it. Sometimes you know, people do too much cooking, you know, you must allow the food. Like, alright, if you do too much, you don't look good. Just like cooking, you gotta allow it to, to do its work. Alright, after about 30 to 40 seconds, add the diced scallion. The stove gauge is on 6 medium eye and about 20 seconds after added mashed garlic and stir and allow and about 6-8 seconds after add Dice, spring beans, stir that in for a little while. At the time of the okra, just gonna stir that in for a couple seconds. Then, right after. That stirring the coconut milk, to, you know, make sure it's stirring properly. Look at that. That don't look like real coconut milk. You tell me, it's a it rich, tastes really nice. like coconut, real coconut milk. Most of these coconut milks are from Thailand, because I guess in Thailand, in Thailand they have monkeys. They train monkeys to go and harvest the coconut for them. I read that when I was researching for the book. So it makes sense. A lot of coconut is in Thailand. So that was two cups of water. Put the stove gauge on four now. We're gonna stew it for a little while. Add the scotch on the pepper. All right, just let it stay. Don't open it. All right, add the, add the herbs. Add a tablespoon of dried basil. Half a teaspoon of pimento berries, dried. A tablespoon of parsley. Did you know that pimento berries is, is, is cinnamon? It's the cinnamon leaf, the cinnamon that y'all eat. 
is the tree. So that the, 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 um, the, the fruit, the bear for the cinnamon leaf is fermento. Cinnamon leaf tree is fermento. So about a teaspoon of um, dicely chopped rosemary, dried or fresh. And you can use any of these herbs fresh. And about a teaspoon of marjoram. Just stir, stir in a little. Use the pot lid and just cover it and let it stay. Alright. I'm not going to use no salt. Ital, strictly ital, no salt. Alright, peanuts now. Remember now, you can use any nuts. I like to, this is fresh nuts. These are fresh nuts. That's why I buy this big pack. Cause that the big pack cost me $500. But I bought it because they were fresh. They were fresh. So just look to see if you see any rotten pieces or so forth. Because, you know, that can, that can taste bitter. So if anything that shrivels, like you see any shrivel, shriveled up looking nut, take it out. Alright, so that's a peanut. Alright, after five minutes, this is what it looks like. It's kind of stir it in. See, you have to make sure that the, the vegetable, the spring bean, because the okra cook quick. But we'll make sure that the spring bean is tender. If you're serving it, you don't want it to be hard or chewy. So you gotta make sure it's at least tender first before. So turn the stove stage down and two or low. And allow it to simmer for a little while. And then, you, then we're gonna check the spring bean. And once the spring bean is tender, tenderized, then we um, then we start run it down. All right, now so the the stove gauge on low. Make sure it's low, almost off low. Now, after five minutes. No, sorry. After eight minutes. Turn the stove gauge up on four and just allow it to simmer. The peas should be tenderized by now. After eight minutes, let's remove the time stick because it splashes. It's in the way. So this is what it looks like. You gotta make sure the peas is tender. See, some of these peas, I think the older they are, the tougher they get. The fresher they are, the more tender they get they are so if they just pick they're probably cooking two minutes all right you just want it like this i want to taste the small piece all right that's how you want it so now after the eight minutes let's add a dice chocha and a dice carrot stir in just a little in this pepper i taste it because it's this pepper i don't know if it's because of the drought but the pepper is hot it's hot. I'm taking it out. I just taste it. It's, it's spicy already. Too spicy, to be honest. See, although you see me use spice pepper, I don't like spicy food. But guess what? It flavors the food lovely. And it's not hot. It's just flavor. Alright, just allow that. Alright, now it's... Now, after about a minute or two... Bringing it to about 10 minutes now since we since we're stewing. Turn the stoves up. Turn the stove gauge on six. We're gonna run it down now. So you just leave the lid off and just let it simmer. Don't just I'm just playing with it a little, but just allow it, just allow it. And at the end, we're gonna add the peanut. See, you don't add a peanut while it cooks because it's going to get soft. You want people to crunch on it.
Alright, so that was 10 minutes since doing. So that's just about 10 to 12 minutes. See when it starts to stick to the bottom. So the stove gauge is on I, which is around six, eight, there about. Stir in occasionally, make sure it's not sticking too quick. A vegetable black cook down like this don't I must say it look good color like cream bubbling It's like about a minute or two. So it'll stir him occasionally. Make sure everything gets in an even, an even cook. So this is run long vegetables to a well a rundown a vegetable rundown this really but for foreign people it's vegetable coconut stew that's my name that's the name I'm keeping it it's my recipe anyway so anyway I always put a yes on that alright so it's gonna stir it's nearly three minutes. That's three minutes. Right in front of your eyes. The okra is giving it a uh, um, mm, a kind of gummy thickness to it. You see, by leaving the lid off, you allow the water to to evaporate, and then um, just leaving the, the the coconut cream. And then while it evaporates under the heat, it creams. That's why they call it coconut cream, because it's it cream, it creams. So this is going on to five minutes. So it's between 15 to 17 minutes now since we're cooking. So see five minutes. Hope you guys know that I'm checking the time and I'm not just saying things. I'm actually keeping track. So it's, it's coming to the end. So this is how you want it. Look at that creamy. I never believe this is vegetable. Look at that. Right. And so that milk. Five to six minutes. So that's it. You just wanna. It's finished. 
You don't want to dry it out too much. You want to use some of this coconut sauce for, for gravy. Yeah, like that. Look at that. Mm. Now the peanuts, you just, that's it. You ready? Just add them at the end. You know, you can use quarter cup or half cup. But I'm not going to use all this. I'm just going to use this much. But you, you can use half cup. It will taste really nice. Peanut is a protein in, in the thing. This meal is packed with vegetables, vitamins and protein and, and minerals and a lot of things. A lot of good things. Alright. I had to stop and take two pictures, trust me. Alright, so that's it. So you just cover it until you're ready to serve. It's best served now. So that was five minutes stewing on eye. Just want to clarify. Alright, now it's time to serve. So you can do like me and put it in a container. Just take some of this goodness, this beautiful vegetable, and just pour it over your brown rice. You can eat this with mashed potatoes or or even alone, you can eat it by itself. And just pour some of this good, nice, rich sauce on top. Look at that, look at the heat. Wow. I say if you're going to be a vegetarian, you're going to enjoy it. Look at that. I'm going to make vegetarian meals fun. Look at that, boy. That's my vegetable rangdong or vegetable coconut sauce, coconut stew, vegetable coconut stew or the original name of it is vegetable rangdong, rangdong, like I'm running you down, yeah, just that it run down in a pot. Vegetable rundown. Alright, now is the best time. The best time to fill my stomach. So I'm just gonna take some more of this rich sauce. <laughs> I like saying it. I like saying it. This nice coconut sauce. And just pour it on top. Mm. This tastes really good. Tell me a food you will get nature, man. You hear, men? Y'all need to eat this type of food. You will fight off free radicals. Because that's what's killing us off. You know? The food, yeah. Well, the free radical is in the food. But the free radical in the air, like the pollution and so forth, that attacks the DNA. So you gotta be, you know, that's what we, this type of food will fight it off. We'll fight it off, boy. So look at this. This is real vegetarian food. No meat whatsoever. My opinion, I believe if you're going to be a vegetarian, you should, you should not eat any meat. Not even salt fish. Not even fish. Not even boiled egg. I heard somebody said that once and I was like, boiled egg? Well, it is still chicken, it's still protein, it's still animal fat. An egg is animal fat, y'all need to know that. And the whole point of being a vegetarian is not to eat animal fat. And the meal is beautiful, you can't tell me it's not. It's pretty. Fresh and nice. And with this I use no salt and the thing tastes good. The thing tastes great. Alright. This recipe is gonna be in 
Rastafarian vegetarian dinners. So when it comes out, get it. There's going to be a lot of good recipes in that book. This book is going to be a good book for vegetarians. Me say, this a food ya will make the, the dead rise. Me say, this a food ya will make the dead rise. In other words, in other words, this year food will bring the, the dead back to life. In other words, in other words, this year food will bring the dead back to life you know what will be really nice with this raisins let's add it at the end This this is so fresh and tastes really nice. When I say fresh, I don't well fresh, nice, fresh food, vegetables. The carrot is sweet. And then you taste the the, um, the spring beans, and then you taste the, the green flavor of the script, the spring beans. The coconut is just nice. It's just a nice, plain, clean meal. Enjoy it. Visit my website, jamaicadinners.com Man, it's these type of food, I mean, I say it's not patwa. I them something that people shouldn't have eat. I swear to God, the food could. It's just fresh, but too accustomed to meat. See you later. Yeah, man!